Hi, and welcome back to another WRSA interview. Today we're talking about injury prevention, and today we have Shad Ricky with us. Hi, Shad, would you like to introduce yourself? I would love to introduce myself. My name is Shad Ricky, as you so well pronounced. I'm the certified athletic therapist at Brandon University currently, and I'm also the department chair for physical education studies. Um, previously, I've worked, well, this is my 22nd year as a, athletic, a certified athletic therapist. I've worked in professional hockey, professional baseball, professional football, um, Canadian national wrestling team. This is my second university I've worked at. And uh, I have a lot of experience in uh, uh, minor sports and a variety of sports. Uh, it's kind of one of the reasons why I like to be here at Brandon University because you get an exposure to a whole bunch of different uh, uh, types of activities. And I'm a rural, uh, born and raised in rural Saskatchewan. So I like the small town feel and happen to deal with uh, people who had similar sports interests as me when I was growing up. Awesome, thanks. Um, so we're just gonna start by talking about what athletes should be doing during their off season, like currently to get ready for the upcoming season. Wow, there's a couple uh, ways we could go with this. Um, this isn't a typical year. Um, I don't know if you know this, but we've been going through a pandemic. And uh, there's a couple, like I said, there's two different aspects going on. One, we've had a whole lot of time, almost a year, uh, at least nine months of a lot of uh, sedentary activity where we haven't been able to uh, participate in fully into sport. So we've done a lot of time practicing. A lot of times practicing in, in restricted groups and that sort of thing. Um, compound that with we're in the off season of going into a university soccer season, for example, or any uh, any of our varsity sports going into sport uh, coming in September. So typically we use the summertime for injury prevention by strength training and, and a general overall fitness regime um, to increase strength and increase endurance over the summertime. Because when you actually are playing in a regular season, you can't strength train and you know, perform at the same time. It's two different messages for your body and it's just too much. And it, usually that causes injury. So we have to take the time in a proper period cycle of, of, of training to increase our, our ability to uh, our fitness levels. Now, going back to the pandemic, we also have a whole bunch of athletes chomping at the bit to go out there and start playing and go out there and try to catch everything up in, in one, one or two months. And so a lot of, a lot of time is going to be spent uh, harnessing that enthusiasm as well as ensuring proper strength training has occurred and slowly transition into the performance um, part of, of our uh, uh, fitness or, or game or uh, sport participation regime um, comes for for me, it's in the middle of August um, when our, the teams are going to start reporting. And so that's what I'm basically doing all summer is working with the athletes more or less one on one still virtually to find out what they're doing, where they're at. And when they have little nicks or little uh, issues to come see me in the clinic and uh, hopefully see how well they did with their offseason training because the first day of, of training camp we will be doing fitness testing. So that'll be interesting to see how things worked out. Yeah, for sure. Thank you for that. Um, how can athletes prevent those really common injuries and how can they take care of them? Uh, I'm an advocate of, of using uh, fitness and uh, training as a prevention. Truly the only effective treatment for any injuries or prevention of any injuries is uh, having a sound uh, uh, fitness level and increasing that. Um, that's really been proven a lot in the, in the literature. And so as you would know, and as our athletes know here, we're pretty um, adamant and we spend a lot of resources to ensure that there's off season training and then we monitor, coaches monitor the athletes, I monitor athletes to ensure that, that that's occurring. Also having proper nutrition is important. Getting proper rest is important. Um, I know summertime is an uh, opportunity to especially now when we haven't been able to do a lot of things with friends and family, but uh, extra activities like, you know, water sports or camping or, or trying to add in other sports, which are fine. 
but you want to really be careful that when you're training and, and trying to prepare your bodies for a certain sport or certain activity, you want to make sure that you're not too, doing too many things to, to allow for improper rest because a lot of times overuse is one of the biggest issues and poor fitness and poor nutrition and poor rest. So those are kind of the big things that you can ensure athletes or athletes can ensure they do to minimize injuries. Awesome. And like when they, how do they take, if they get one of those small injuries, how should they be taking care of those? Well, I would like to think that they would let me know. My athletes that work at, or our um, Brandon Bobcats athletes know that they have access to me uh, in the clinic here at, at the university. Um, I like to say to athletes that let me trivialize your injury. Don't trivialize, trivialize your own injury because if you leave it go and there is something that could be just a small tweak or a small intervention, that'll affect your training, you know, in a positive way. I want to be the one that helps you, but if you kind of leave it to yourself to make those decisions, sometimes things can roll up and, and, and cause extra problems and be a bigger burden than it needs to be. So there is me here for our Bobcats athletes. I also see people from Westman area, but there's lots of physio clinics and athletic therapists in the area that can definitely see you and definitely uh, make an assessment and ensure that you're, you're, um, following the you know proper protocols for for uh, treatment and hopefully get back to training because like I said going back to the last point if we're not training and not strength training and not preparing ourselves injuries will still happen yeah that's great so always go to the professionals <laughs> okay um so that's all I have for you today um if you have anything you'd like to add at this point yeah just remember um it's been gonna be exciting when we all can get together and participate in our sports. But just remember that we gotta catch up and we gotta gradually increase. We can't be at our levels that we think we need to be at. We need to gradually get to them or we're gonna hurt ourselves. And if you can get vaccinated, the most important thing you can do to prevent any of the COVID issues moving forward. So please do that too, thanks. Awesome. Thank you so much for coming today, Shad.